What's up guys, this is just a tutorial for the uh, MMS <clears throat> for the iPhone 3GS, 3G and hopefully the first generation. I may not be clear right now guys because I'm sick, but I'm going to try to do my best. Uh, before we get started, you must download the, the file AT&T US 5.5 IPCC file, and that's the carrier update. And why am I showing you this video is because if you got a text message from um, AT&T, it'll tell you to go to iTunes and update. What they what you don't know is that if you update, you might gonna go to the 3.1. Now this may not be a problem for Mac users because they have the Ponish tool to jailbreak, but this is a problem for the Windows versions because they don't have a jailbreak. Even though other people say there is the custom firmware you can just update there's still errors and it's pretty much not safe as of right now so I'm still in a 3.0.1 jailbreak for now until Red Snow releases or anybody releases a official release for the 3.1 jailbreak alright um, it's more complicated to get this uh, carrier update running that's why I'm gonna show you right now press the start button and type in run press enter now you're going to get this pop up here and what you're going to put in is CMD press OK and then you're going to get this other pop up window and I'm going to tell you what to type in here as you can see here on my notepad it says CD so you're going to try to type that in and what this does is give you an extra tab so that way you can update to that file because <clears throat> in the iTunes if you don't do this uh, little run feature you will not get the option to select an IPP no IPCC file and that would just mess it up so once you typed in uh, this quote right here from the notepad you, ha you have to press enter and then you'll get another pop-up now just to warn you guys this only works for the 32-bit and the XP. The 64-bit uses for Windows Vista, I'll post it up in the video description on how to type it in in the command. Alright, so once you get the second um, little notification there, you type in iTunes.exe space little forward slash and S E T P R E and watch out for this one. It says F L N T. I see most people would mistake that for an I. So watch that out. Space carrier dash testing. Oh, just to warn you guys, I forgot to tell you in a, just a couple of minutes ago, your iPhone has to be disconnected and iTunes has to be turned off. I'm sorry if I didn't tell you that before. And back to the command thing, just press enter and your iTunes should start popping up. might take a little bit okay guys um, uh, the iPhone popped up in my iTunes so now we're just gonna wait so try to ignore this 3.1 notification download we're not gonna need that for quite some time for some, oh, there we go so now just go to your iPhone and now hold shift and then press update and now go all the way to the bottom and select the iPhone carrier and there should be the AT&T US 5.1 double click on that open and then your iPhone should be um, actually no the iTunes should be noticing the the carrier it'll close down except iTunes and then what you gotta do is reboot your iPhone and how do you do that is just turn off your iPhone on and off or you can just hold the power button and the home button and just turn it back on and that's pretty much it guys and that's how you get MMS on your iPhone so I'll see you guys later and I'll post another video update if necessary